Okay, here's a new project from Brimcorp. This is, uh, I don't know what the hell this is. It's a pump. I guess it's for a hitch pump. And I don't know what we're going to make this. We're going to try to make this. I don't know what the hell he's doing for sure. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to burn this out a piece of three-quarter plate. And then we're going to machine the holes in there for it. And we're going to machine the uh, mounting for the pump, I guess. I don't know about how close the finish has got to be. We just got a piece of plate, so I don't know how that's going to turn out. But we're going to give it a shot. It may take a couple times to get it right. And apparently, the oil is supposed to go in that hole. And it may be out that hole, too. But apparently, we don't need this hole. And this hole is bad or something. I don't know what he's doing, but we're just going to make this plate with a pipe plug here to send the oil out, I guess, instead of this horn of a deal. So, stand by, we'll check that out. Alright, there's Bremcorp's pump plate. I'm going to try to burn that out of three quarter inch plate. That's going to be maybe trouble. Watch the tool path here. Now we run it twice for some reason. We got something screwed up there. Goes around once. Goes around twice. We don't want it to go around twice. You got something screwed up there. Okay, we got toolpath corrected. I'm only gonna count out one. Make some G code. We changed our pierce blade to one. Probably not enough. I'll place the name. Save it. Okay, we cut a test piece to see how it's going to fit out some smaller stuff. Looks like it should be fine. I don't know, looks okay to me. I gotta edge start this. So we're gonna come down and touch the plate. Got the thing just touching on the side. Hopefully it'll fire up, start cutting. Because you can't pierce this thick of material with a 45 amp plasma. So we'll see what happens. Okay, we're gonna try to burn that shape out of one inch plate with a 45 amp plasma. We can't pierce it, so we gotta have edge start. We got torch height control, which we like to use. So we got it set up right there. That's going to be our blast off point, as you can see there. So we moved the torch to that point and then moved our plate under the torch. So hopefully it'll work. We'll see what happens.
Okay. My boy Bremcorp. He's been on my shit lately. He questions everything I tell him. Like I don't know what I'm talking about or I'm making up stories to tell him. So he makes me fact check every day. Everything I tell him, I got to fact check. So now, once again, he's up the game on me. He's giving me one inch plate to cut to make this piece. To make this piece here. Well, attempt to make that. Here's our burnt out piece of one inch plate we did on a table. Well, pretty good. Five inches a minute. Of course, we, we had troubles here. Our program puked out twice on us. Got there the first time. There the second time. Got all the way around there the third time. And then they have a straight line function that you could figure out. So we just set the torch up up here, lined it up with down here, and then we use a straight line function to tell it how far and how fast, what direction to go, and then we made that final cut there. So it was kind of unsuccessful, but it was kind of successful because I never thought it would cut one inch plate. Totally surprised with the whole program. Pretty nice cut quality on there. It has got a taper on there, but I don't give a shit about that. That's more than... That'll make me look way ten times better than what I'm capable of. If I tried to burn that out by hand, it'd look like a lightning bolt edge. It's all right, Brimcorp. Bring it on. All right, we need to make a correction. Of course, I didn't fact check Brimcorp. He's telling me this is inch plate. Last I knew, you had to be out to the inch to make inch. This measures in English three quarters. Let me just double check it. One, two, three quarters. Inch is here. Yeah. Who needs to fact check who, dipshit? Okay, this is the last part of the little pump project. Mountain plate, I guess. Apparently we are making a new plate here. We're eliminating this tube that runs it up here. And I guess it, I don't know where it takes it to, to the hitch or someplace or something. I guess we're eliminating that. And we're just going to have a port here that would run to, I guess, just the remotes or to a loader. Or I guess I really don't know what this really goes to. But apparently he's got one and this port is bad and they need to use this port. But apparently they don't need this anymore. So I think this goes to the hitch. This goes to like a loader or something. But anyhow, it doesn't matter what this really does. This is our part we made. And then uh, we eliminated, this is where the hor horn would be. Which I think he could do that. Drill another hole there. And with a couple fittings and maybe a little piece of hose or a little piece of steel tubing. You could just duplicate this on the outside. That's basically what it is. This is the pump pressure. It will come out there. Or I guess an auxiliary there. But that's not what he wanted. So that's not what he got. So we uh, machined this for a number 8 male boss fitting. No pipe fittings around here. And then these have got the same counter sinks. Copper washer goes in there to seal. And then we just... Uh, had to make a pump mounted on the back. Had a little bit of a counter bore for uh, O-ring. Duplicated that on our part. And then just kind of cleaned this surface up. Just basically just took enough to clean the mill scale and crap off it. Still got to put a couple dowel pins in there. But I was hoping maybe if I got a gasket that would help me get them dowel pins lined up a little closer maybe. I'm just afraid to put them in there and not get them right, and that's going to be just foobarred big time. A couple dowel pins going in here to mount the pump, to mount, to mount the pump. But maybe we'll make Brimcorp do that. He just stands back, has everybody else do the work, and then he blames either me or his uncle Brian for the friggin' screw up stuff. So 
Maybe that'll be as part of it. You drill two holes in this whole thing. Can you handle that?